G'day and welcome back to Duck Solid Gaming and Hort Belleron. Yes, that's right. We are back in France and we are now on the first day of July. We're just bringing the big M, another load of grass into the uh, fermenters over here. Um, we've skipped ahead uh, effectively about a month, month and a half. Uh, we were in May, if I remember correctly, in the last episode. And we're now obviously in day one, July. And uh, so we finished off, we are doing some grass work. We did the grass work and now since we've come back through to July, the grass is all grown again, so we've got more grass to mow. Yay! Always good to mow more grass. Anyway, we're just gonna drop this off here. Then we've got lots of things to do and lots of things to talk about. So, um, I'm gonna get this lot in here. Load him off there. <clears throat> I just gotta finish mowing this bit of grass over here and I'll do that as we discuss what's going on with this episode. And the next couple of episodes, because um, we're going to be pretty busy, I think. Anyway, hope everyone is well. We are doing well enough here, and I'm just going to have a quick wet whistle moment, so be right back. <clears throat> Alrighty then. Now. Oh, the conveyor's a bit low. <clears throat> Alright, so what we're going to do is I'm just going to set this up. We're just going to um, get cracking with the big M. <clears throat> so we got rid of the GX550. Um, no real reason other than the fact it was just slower than using the big M uh, um, loading wagon. So we decided well, we'll just get rid of it. Um, because once we sort of get this field over yonder, over the other side of the railway lines going uh, with our grass, we're not going to need to have multiple. And all we really need to have is a mower and a loading wagon but in fact i'm actually thinking about upgrading the big m to the class cougar and um using that for mowing and then having a windrower um separately but anyway I, I digress so um we've now moved into july as we said but that now means we've now got some fields ready to harvest so we've got some um lots of canola to harvest all of our canola fields are ready to harvest uh, we've got our barley field ready to harvest, which is one of the ones on the other side of the railway line, which is what we've got to harvest, then plough in to create our mega field, mega grass field. Um, and uh, what else we got? I think that's about it for now, but we've got a whole pile of them to do. We've got a whole pile of production work to obviously move around as well, um, because the fact we've fast forwarded effectively, um, what, six game days, I suppose, for the one of a better term. Um, and uh, so we've obviously got production elements that need to be looked after there. We've got milk that's going to have to be moved. We've got um, cows have to be fed, um, all that sort of stuff. So we've got lots of stuff to get done. So anyway, all right, so I finished tidying that up. So I'm just going to dump this down over here. <clears throat> got manure that has to be removed. Look at all the manure in there. All right, lots of things to do. All right, I'm just going to pump this into the hay dryer. Like that. You're in there. Okay. All right. Let's have a quick synopsis of where we're at. Where we're at over here. I'll leave him running. It's okay. Um. So let's have a look at our hay dryer first. So the hay dryer. Uh, we got 475,000 liters of grass in there, and we've got 488,000 liters of hay. In here, we've got 299,000 litres of grass. We've got 377,000 litres of silage. We've got digestate as well. Okay. Uh, manure. Uh, almost 100,000 manure there we've got to get rid of. Now, our cows, we're in need of what? Our feed is okay. We're going to be in need of straw. Um, hay. We need to fill up the hay. So, with straw, we need about 50,000. We need... We need um, 70,000 for hay. We need oh, 120,000 for silage. Silage isn't a problem at the moment. Uh, another 40,000 of straw, so we need to do that. Mineral feed is going to be something we're going to need as well. I did say that the last episode, so we might be really low on mineral feed over here. Uh, look, right over here. I don't have to worry about that for the moment. Oh, actually, did I have mineral feed in here? Or was that over... Manure, uh, 105,000 manure here. We've got 200,000 manure. Um, mineral feed is something, yes, we definitely need. Okay. All right. Now, they both need straw, so let's... Um, no, let's, let's do what we've got to do first. 
Let's grab the combine. Right, I'm going to grab my new combine. Okay. This is the new Holland. CH770. This is the one we bought new. I'm just going to go straight out the field and get started. <clears throat> Reason being, we've got plenty to do. So let's get this going. Okay, here's the first field we're going to do. <clears throat> right, I'm going to get him set up on a course by course. Right, once we're done this course by course, we'll have a look where we sit with the rest of the fields in that as well. Great job. There we go. 8.4 meters, one number of headlands. I'm going to do three headlands. I'm going to do um, sharp, uh, 4%. Up, downs, yep, and we don't want that. Throughout the course, there he's done, he's done. Okay, first waypoint, off you go. All right, so now we're going to have a look at this. So this is where we're at with our fields and our status at the moment. So if I go across to here, all right, we can see that field 43, 37, CP1, 44 are all ready for harvest. 47 and 45 ready for harvest, and that's all the fields we own. So let's have a look at what we've got to harvest. So these are all canola, no worries. 47 is obviously wheat, fine. And 45 is barley. So that's when you get into send this twin screw over there and get these, these two fields here done. That's the next job. Right. Uh, let's find the twin screw, take him over there with a combine header and see how he goes. Now, I've been contemplating buying a smaller header for this. Um, cut the header off. Um, because we had nothing but problems with the headers previously, didn't we? The draper headers and stuff. But yeah, I'm going to give it a go. And we'll just see. <clears throat> Alright, so let's head on out. And we'll get on, get those fields going. The sooner we can turn that, that those fields into the one field, the sooner I can lay the grass down, and we don't have to worry about it. We, we lay the grass, we mow it, we roll it, we mow it, we roll it, and that's all we have to worry about for now. And then that's going to keep us going with um, hay and silage uh, forevermore. We shouldn't, <coughs> pardon me, we shouldn't need um, to buy any more uh, grass fields or have any more other grass fields running or anything else like that. So we, we probably wouldn't even need to worry about running around the grass on the outside of the fields as much as well. So we'll see how things go. Um, I'm going to go straight down here. I think there's a path up through here somewhere. Skirt around here. I don't want to go through the, the loading point there. Here we go. We're here. Right, so this will be the test to see how he goes on these fields. He had enough trouble on the on the field we just started on with the New Holland actually, is where we had trouble with. Um with different headers. So we'll try it again. And if not, we'll either look at changing the header or change the combine out. Okay. Alright. So let's have at it. Again, we're going to put a combine course on this one. Because we can. That uh, wanted to be fairly basic. We want to do multiples, number of headlands. I want to do two headlands, sharp, yes. Headland overlap, uh, just up downs, no bypass. That's fine. Generate. Nope, I want to go uh, up, down, road direction, manual. That's better. 
Right. <clears throat> there we go. Uh, first waypoint and start. There he goes. Excellent. Right. Two combines off and running. Uh, now, I need to get some trailers over there to unload. Uh, what have we got? In fact, what have we got? Have we got any... I've forgotten if we've got any auger wagons or anything. We have got an auger wagon there. Um, okay, we'll use that. Why not, he says. Right, let's go and see how the new Holland is going. So we're going to have to have a fair bit of... We're going to have to look at the sheep actually as well. I haven't checked the sheep out. I haven't checked the chickens out for feed either. So um, I may well be starving them at the moment, so we'll check that out shortly. Um, if not this episode, maybe the next episode, because I think the next episode will probably be the same game day. All right. Here's our New Holland. He's, uh, he's doing okay so far. As long as steady wins the race, we don't need to have any land speed records. Let's just give him a bit of an unload while we can here. Okay. We do have to set him to stop and unload. That's our preference. But for now, um, we can just keep them going. Actually, I noticed. It doesn't got that little bug where it doesn't unfold. So, oh, no, so I want to get the combo. Thank you. Right. So, what we're going to do is I'm going to go in here. Fast off only. Um, activated. Uh, no. Activated. I want to, that's fine. Now, what I want to do, I want to stop. I want to unfold the combine because you're not unfolded. All the tool is filled. Okay, all right. So you're going to play this silly game. Now we're stuck in this situation where combines unfolded, it's folded up, but it won't let me. Ah, oh, pain in the bum. Right, maybe he stops there. Let him unload. Right. Now I'll fix that. Right. We'll go back. So he gets in this state where... Put the auger wagon back. We'll go back. We'll go wagon. Right. Now. This one does. There we go. Right now, much better. Now let's get him to continue. Right there you go. All right, so you're happy now, going along. Now we've got this combine here. He's, what's he doing? Yeah. Okay. So I don't know. If, I think it must. It must be the header. All right, what we're going to do, we're going to stop this. All right, what we're going to do is I'm going to, um, all right, let's just, let's just do the quick and easy way. We're going to cheat this out. Get rid of you. Okay. Now, I'm going to have a delivery to here. We're going to deliver ourselves a new header. 
and it's just going to be. I think I might do the same as New Holland. Not going to hurt, is it? Um, yeah, we'll get that one. I'll increase that to uh, seventeen. Okay. Here we go back here. All right, where are you? Other side. And then we will redo the route. There. Cross play. Cross play there. Okay. Great job. Um. Clear that course out. Set the course up again. I'm going to set it up. Great job. From there to there. Open. Uh, yep, that should be about the same. Generate the field work course. Yep. Okay, what we're going to do is we're just going to create it from here or start from here. Right, there we go. Let's see. I, I think it was just the fact the header was too big for it. But we'll, we'll see. This is going to be interesting, this this slope of a field. Um, so anyway, we'll get, get him going now. So that's fine. All right. So while you're doing that, um, I'm going to grab the milk truck, go load up with some milk. <clears throat> we'll keep an eye on our combines. I do have to send a truck over to um, offload these twin screw hat, um, combine at some point. But I think we'll go over, we'll load up some milk first, get that distributed to the dairy and to the milk silo as necessary. Um, and then continue from there. All right. Is that something? Oh, I thought I had something in the middle of the field then. That's just the um the cotton harvest is over in the shed. Load up the first load of milk. I don't know how much is in here. Let's have a look and see how much is over here. That'll give us a guide, a guide of what was in the other one. About 50,000 litres. Nice. Not a small amount of milk. There we go. 53,438 litres. So about 100,000 litres for this delivery. I don't think the dairy will quite use that much. Well, I keep forgetting to come back and smooth that, don't I? Um, I don't think the dairy will quite use that much, but we'll see. Okay. Interesting that it's 0%. Anyway. Pretty sure this tank is only a hundred thousand litre, but I don't know. <clears throat> I don't think filling at zero percent at hundred thousand litres is quite right, but anyway. We'll leave it where it is for now. It's just the gauge is off, that's all. Alright. What do we got? 73% for canola and 57% for wheat.
Busy stretch of road, this one. We're going to come and check out how much we've got um, sitting at the, looks like the factory's full of salad and, and stuff. We do need to get our production running so we get some more um, products running. So mozzarella sticks and garlic bread and other things like that. But as we said previously, we need to um, get a flour mill up. We need to get a bakery up. Um, so there's a few things to do as yet before that will happen. A lot of bakery products here ready to go as well. Get weighing carefully so we don't knock any over, cause any damage unnecessarily. Alright, stuff like that. Now that's going to take a little while. Um, okay, so you're sitting here with Nola. Where is he? He's over there. He's about to be um, about to be full, so we'll head over there and we'll get ready to offload him. Just on cue. Timing there was impeccable, wasn't it? Really, the other one is almost full. Yeah, he's at uh, 70%. We need to have something over there to unload him. Um, big truck is going to be probably a bit of overkill. Um, I think we might take the other fent. Oh, where's the other fent? Get there eventually. And we'll take the, um, the lizard trailer over and we'll offload from that. Actually, we can just use this trailer, can't we? Yes, I do. Might want the lizard to do some animal work. Okay. Like that. Off we go. So, harvest is in full swing. to look at expand expansion again soon i guess because we're going to have a whole pile of produce that said ready to be sold um so i don't know i, I think we're going to have a bit of money come in um well this canola coming in that's going to go basically into the oil production facility um we'll produce some canola oil and then we'll use the canola oil then to produce other products um so yeah, I don't, I don't know. We'll have to see where we go with things. I think with this we might have to get a windrower as well, and windrow uh, with these smaller combines. Oh, that was a bit of a waste. I didn't realise you're doing up downs already. Up here and wait. Get him on the next down run.
No, 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 you don't need to go anywhere. Stay there. Stay there. Don't you do... You do stupid parking when you're ridden. You moron. You were fine where you were. <laughs> All right. You were fine where you were. Oh. Right. <clears throat> I'll fight him. Then the next step here is we will come over and we will also start plowing this field in, um, or at least the edges in where we want to go. Um, that'll be fine. We then need to get the uh, oats in from the other side, then we're good to go. Then we'll just send this this combine straight over there and uh, harvest that field next. Still unloading. Slow to unload. New Holland's at 55% at the moment. 2%, 1%, there he goes. Okay. Good, where's our milk? <clears throat> what are you doing? Yeah, okay. I'm lose some of the crop, but... Yeah, you know, the more and more I think about it, I think it's this combine. I've had so much trouble using this combine. I think it must just be this combine, surely. Nearest way point. Well, thank you. You're going to do it right this time. Milk truck. Right, so he loaded everything but 13,000 in there. So it's okay, so the dairy's up and running again, full tilt. We'll stockpile a bit more milk at the milk silo. And uh, then we move along to the next job. Or jobs. Um, which way will I go? Um, go around this way. So, uh, coming to the end of the episode, that's not bad. We've got two fields underway with harvest. We've got our grass up and running. I do need to actually look at um, closing off those other two fermenters. So I'll have to transfer the goods from those, so the silage and the hay. In fact, that's what we might do next. I might just grab the big truck and we'll start uh, emptying those out, take the hay and the silage over to the cows. We'll use that initially to fill up the cow pens as they are now, and uh, we'll go from there. Let's bring you into the yard here. New Holland's almost full. I have to empty him off as well. That's what we'll do. So for the end of this episode, and off camera, I will grab all the stuff from uh, the two fermenters over at the farm. We will transfer those over into the cow pen, so we'll fill up whatever hay and silage is required from there um, until such time as we've used it all. And when we come back in the next episode, we'll fix up the cows. We'll get up uh, get the straw in there and get whatever silage and um, hay needs to go in there as well and um, we'll get them up 
running, but we'll have a look and see how much is over here in these fermenters first, or these, these production silos, and uh, get an idea of where we're going to be by the time we come back for the next episode. I think we'll take the saw. No, we won't. we'll take the hay first. Right. <clears throat> we have a lot of hay in there, actually. We wanted a bit trail loads. I mean, a bit. Yep. Right. That's okay. At least that way, then we know that one's done. Well, actually, what we could do, the rear trailer could have just left that, and then that could go into the uh, into the sheep. But anyway, we'll um, we'll transport some back over here this way later on. All right, that's where we're going to leave this episode. So, uh, thanks very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did enjoy the episode, make sure you press that like button or the dislike button. Either way. Um, helps with that algorithm and uh, it is appreciated so uh, so smash that like button preferably um, don't forget if you're not already subscribed to the channel please consider subscribing and if you do subscribe make sure you press that alarm notification icon as well so you're made aware of when new videos are available on the channel don't forget you can come and join us on discord twitter and facebook the details are down below in the description but of course apart from anything else take care of yourselves and your loved ones and we'll see you again very very soon back here at ducks all the gaming and hot Better on. See you all later. Bye.